Hi, this is part two of our getting acquainted with the website and the uh, front end builder. Uh, that's what we're going to look at right now. Um, we're logged into the website. You'll see up at the top in the black bar it says Beaver Builder. Um, that's how we're going to go. We're going to go in and edit the pages of the site. If we mouse over, we'll see that there's a section up here which is the page, um, and then there's below it the header section the home hero, which is the slider down below, and the main public footer. Um, so first, uh, I'm going to click on this area where the page is. And what that's going to do is activate um, the page builder for the areas below the, um, below the header and below this hero that's on the home page. And we'll see that when you mouse over, you get this um, these panels, there's a, usually a parent panel, which is the row, um, and then the sections within it. And if you click on a section, you'll see that an edit window pops up. Um, you can make edits to the text. Click Save. Um, and once you click Save, you have a little button up at the top here that says Done. And once you click Done, um, you would say Publish um, or Discard if you didn't want to save it. You could also save as a draft. If you save it as a draft, it saves the edits you made, but they're not visible from the front uh, of the site once you get out of the editing mode. Um, if you continue to mouse over, we'll see that um, there's upcoming events. Um, under upcoming events, it says no events found. That's because there's no events in the calendar. This is a feed from the calendar, so automatically any events that are placed in the calendar it's going to show the first few events in this area when the site is live. Um, this will be the login to the member portion, um, which isn't activated at this point, um, but that simply will be a button link that'll take you there. Um, and this is just a little bit of text. If we click on that, you'll see that we have some text with a link to read more. Um, and that link is if we click on it and highlight it, um, right now it's not activated to anything, but um, what we actually want to do is we want to add that um, to be um, one of the pages of the site. Um, so this is our history. We want it to be um, linked to the history page. So we're going to click um, into this area and type history. Um, so we know that that's a page name. Um, and what it'll do is it actually finds the page associated with that word. Um, in some cases, it may be more than one page that would come up. You select it and hit that blue arrow. That blue arrow will activate the link. Um, and so now that link is activated. Um, if we click Save, um, we'll now have that link tied in there. Um, the Frequently Asked Questions page hasn't been written yet, so um, to go to the history page will kind of help to um, just get something going there in terms of uh, a link that works. Um, down below, um, we'll see that this particular panel is in orange. Now, and the orange outline means that it's a global element, uh, meaning that if we change it here, it'll change everywhere that it's used in the site. So it's pretty handy um, for a case like this. Um, we may want to change the wording. Um, we may want to change uh, maybe the form that's used for the sign up. Uh, and if it's used several places, all we have to do is change it once. Um, and down below, this is the footer area, and we'll see that this isn't active um, because we haven't activated that, edit, that area for editing. Um, once we're done, we just click Done and Publish, and we will publish that just to have that link take us somewhere for now. Um, if we go to the... Uh, Next part of the page, we'll see that um, this is the hero section. Uh, and the hero is actually a little bit complex. It's actually made out of three gallery sliders. Um, if we wanted to add photographs in here, we'll see that there's a, a photo gallery. If we click, click edit gallery, um, we'll see that there's two images in there. We can add to the gallery by uploading images um, and uh, so um, each one of these galleries, we'll just click this X to get out of here. Um, and we'll click cancel here. Uh, we'll see that this is 
the same. This is again a gallery, um, and this is again another gallery. So um, all three of these um, single images are actually made of uh, several images that are just rotating to give the um, kind of the impression of really kind of an interesting dynamic hero there. Uh, and then below it, we have um, a head panel. Um, we'll see that this is selected as an H1 head. Um, there are some pre-designed heads in here from H1 to 6. Um, and this is the title. Um, if we wanted that to link someplace, we could put in a link in here, but we're not linking that. Um, so we're just kind of um, click on style here. And this will give you um, a little bit of uh, control outside of the style sheets um, where um, we could actually go in and specify a specific um, point size. Um, we could change the line height, meaning that if you have two lines together, it'll change the space between those two, the break of the sentence. Um, we could change our alignment. If you click left, see that it moves to the left. Um, and we can also see what it looks like on other devices. So that if we click this, um, you're now looking at it on a, what it would look like on a tablet. And if we click again, we get to the smaller icon. Uh, we see what it looks like on the phone. Um, so um, that's very handy to know um, if you're adding content to the site. Um, we click it one more time, get back to the desktop, uh, and we'll just cancel it here. Um, and so that's just the hero area that we're working on in this scenario. Um, and we'll just click done um, and we'll discard because we didn't do anything there that we wanted to say. The third part of this, um, or, or the next part, is the header. Um, let me just click done. Did we do that? Just going to click the home page to reload the home page. Now, when we go to um, also the Beaver Builder, we see we have also the header and the footer. Um, the header, I wouldn't, uh, uh, I wouldn't mess around with the header. It's pretty well set. It's set for mobile, and it's set for um, tablet and desktop. Um, and uh, it's good just to leave that. If we do add extra pages to the menu, they'll automatically be added in here. Um, so you won't have to do that by editing the header, but I'll just give you a quick peek, click on header. And what we'll see is that we have uh, the main header, but we also have these mobile, these member buttons. Um, and right now they're set to hide because we don't have a member login set up yet. But once we do, um, we'll see that um, when we click on this button and we click on advanced, right now it's saying, um, I take it back. I'm not sure why that uh, isn't set correctly, but we're going to cancel that. Ignore this part just for now. Um, but um, if we discard this and we go out, say OK, um, click back on the home page. That button is missing. There is a reason it's not showing there, um, but I didn't explain it correctly. Um, down below, we also have the footer. Um, so if we click on home again to re reload the page, um, and then click on the footer. Um, we'll see if we click on footer, um, that'll activate. Um, and we have text boxes here. Um, this is just kind of a link. Um, and here's some text here. Um, and that can always be updated. Um, and when you update it, um, it's pretty much uh, should update throughout the site. Um, there was a little glitch on that the other day, but I think that, that that's been resolved. Um, so we'll just get out of this. And then we'll just um, navigate to a new page, go to history. And we'll see that the history uh, page, uh, when we click on the link here, um, we'll see that, you know, really, once you've activated the uh, Beaver, the, the page builder for this page, Really, everything is editable um, except for the header and the footer on this page. So, um, this is for the you know the name, the title of the page, the photograph um, is, is set 
um, to be a full width pair, um, photograph. Um, we have a, a head with some text under it. Um, click on that text panel. Um, and you have three tabs here. You have your general style and advanced. Um, and your general is your basic editing panel for a text um, panel. Um, so we're not going to do any changes there, but you can see, I'll click again. You can see that um, what we have here is we have some text and we have an image. Uh, if you click on the image, you'll see that this little um, menu bar pops up and that, that you can use for alignment. Um, it can either be um, centered, it could have its own full line, or it could be positioned left. Let's actually just kind of center this and leave it centered. Um, you can also click the uh, pencil and that lets you um, do some things like add alt text. Um, so um, we'll add some alt text in here because images, it's good to have the alt text in for SEO. Um, and we'll just say New Haven City Hall building. Um, and so you can also change position here. Um, and if we wanted to link that to a particular, uh, say the city hall, uh, the, the, the city town website, um, you could put a link in there so that when you clicked on the image, um, it would take you there, but uh, we're not going to do that. Um, the, as far as the advanced tab, um, the thing that you, be aware of there's the ability to put some padding uh, some you know margins above left right and below and these have kind of been set up um, but sometimes you may want to add a little bit more space above an item or maybe there's too much space and you want to take some out um, this would be a place that you could do that Right now, um, we have a lot of pages that are um, under the member section. Um, so if we went to the board members and stewards, we click on that page. Um, we'll see that we have um, the listing of everybody who's important here to be connected on the page. Um, right now, we don't have any images. Hopefully, there will be some images that come into here. But uh, that'll, that'll be uh, something that can happen at a later date. Um, the images are basically what we're going to do is go to Beaver Builder, <coughs> click on the board members, um, and you'll see that when you click on it um, and we go to general, there's an image here, um, and we're going to want to um, delete this image and replace it with a new image when it becomes available. Um, and those images um, generally, um, if we just click this edit, edit button, um, 260 by 300 is, or, or I'm sorry, 520 by 600 um, is the image size that it would be good to crop the images out. Um, and then when you place it, um, that 260 by 300 medium size is the size that is placed in the window. We'll just click done here, uh, exit this page, Don't save anything. Um, the board pages, uh, meeting notes, um, I think those are, at this point, um, you have to be a member to log in, and not a member, but uh, the private content is just for uh, board members, uh, the shop stores and representatives who have logged in, and we'll be setting that page up shortly. Um, one other thing that I'll quickly go over, which uh, is just to go over the tools with you. Um, if we click on this history page um, and we click on this plus sign, this is where the tools are for modules, um, pieces that you might want to add. Um, let's say that you wanted to add a, a video or a fo another photograph to this page. Um, you can do that by dragging in a photo element we can drag in a text edit element, 
text edit elements can have text and images combined. Photos are just photos. So if we dragged in a photo element here, um, it would then allow us to um, add a photograph. Um, the source can be from the media library, URL. Um, if we select select photo, um, we could upload an image. So if you click upload, you would select that file from your um, desktop. Um, and the media library has all of the images that have been brought in. So um, we could select this image, um, say select photo, um, click save, and we'll see that that image is placed here. Um, so there's a little bit of spacing around here that doesn't kind of line up. Um, we could click on that um, advanced tab. And if you click this little chain here and you type zero, it'll zero everything out. Um, and tighten up your space uh, left, right, top, and bottom. Um, so if we see now that it's kind of uh, popped out, um, I'm going to delete that. We're not going to save it. Um, also on this plus, we'll see that um, we have rows. Um, so if we were, wanted to bring in three columns of content, we could put three columns in the top area here. Um, and set that, bring in additional, bring in the modules into there. So we could bring a text edit module here. Um, just type in the text. You could bring in a photo. You could bring in a heading, um, buttons. Um, you can stack things on top of each other. You know, you could put a, a video underneath some type. Um, so those become columns um, that you can um, work with, um, just part of the uh, flexibility of Beaver Builder. Um, it's really a very powerful front end builder. I think, you know, it, it makes the, the build of the site flexible uh, for the build and also for uh, expanding the site in the future. We're going to discard, save that. And with that, I'm going to end this part of the tutorial. Um, I'm sure there will be other questions you have. Um, but for right now, I think that gives you a quick uh, overview of, of the site and how it basically um, can be managed.